Hello, Robert Bastian here. Uh, those of you who have looked at other videos know that I like to talk about unusual disorders that people sometimes spin their wheels trying to find an answer to. So this is a, just a little simple video about what I call laryngospasm of voice. Uh, not a common disorder, but uh, my experience is that when it occurs, uh, people have a hard time finding uh, the answer. So I'm not trying to diagnose you because you would have to work with your personal physician, but just to give you an idea that you might discuss with your personal physician. So the scenario is as follows. The person says, every now and again, on an unexplained basis, my voice just kind of abruptly changes and chokes off. Um, and the scenario is very much like when a person, this is an analogy and it's actually a little bit of what happens. The analogy is when a person is uh, eating Thanksgiving dinner or whatever and jokes are being told and whatever and they aspirate a little drip of something and they kind of start to cough and cough and cough saliva or whatever. They start to cough and cough and cough and as people are gathering around saying, you okay? they're kind of answering in a voice that's kind of like this, they're kind of <coughs> coughing and they have that sort of choked off voice like that. Well, there are people who can have the choke off of voice but without the coughing or the aspiration. And sometimes they're aware of a little tickle or maybe there is a little cough but uh, it's, it's more just of the pure voice manifestation and less the aspiration manifestation. Um, so the idea is that the vocal cord muscles just kind of go tight because of that, that laryngospasm idea. There's no breathing uh, trouble. Typically, when we use the word laryngospasm, we mean that closing of the larynx when one is trying to breathe and that uh, noisy breathing that is kind of frightening to you and to everyone else. But that same sort of Charlie horse without breathing difficulty can happen and just affect the voice. Uh, so if that's you and the, there's been no explanation, you just have these occasional moments when the voice just abruptly changes, uh, but it doesn't last very long, within a minute or two your voice is back and all is well, uh, then think about this idea of laryngospasm of voice. Um, if it's a very occasional thing, unfortunately you, there's not a lot to do about it, but just kind of wait till it passes. If it happens to be happening frequently and actually interfering with your uh, quality of life and even with your work, then the way it would be treated, again, once assuming the diagnosis is confirmed, I'm not confirming your diagnosis because I don't know you, but uh, if that is the confirmed diagnosis by another physician uh, or here at Bastion Voice Institute, then the treatment would be the same as for sensory neuropathic cough. So you can look up all of the information on S and C, just type in those three letters, S, N, and C, S, N, C for sensory neuropathic cough. The same treatment protocols would be used for pure laryngospasm of voice. So I hope that finds its way to at least one person who finds this useful. Thank you for listening.